Hello YouTube, Joshua Kylan here. Uh, just a quick update on me. Um, I got new glasses. Um, yeah, safety and normal. Uh, yeah, it's. Now let's just say it's been three years roughly. I got them in December last year. Uh, so got a couple new things. Um, calcium calcium carbide lamp. Uh, all you do is put calcium carb carbide in the bottom, then you put water up here, and you got a flow control. Um, not totally sure if uh, sure if it works, but I'll probably find out one of these days. Um, there's the the jet in here is wobbly. I'm not totally sure if it it should be or not so I gotta check that out I got two new or used HO scale locomotives this little zero four or o four o tank locomotive and let's just say this has the biggest uh, DC motor I've seen in a model uh, yeah, This thing is I think about on par with my uh, consolidation type uh, I'm gonna probably end up switching it over to the Bachman uh, easy mate coupler um, Shouldn't be too hard Got mr. Calvin here He likes my uh, desk Hey. Then uh, got a, tr a cable car. This is actually a powered one, not a just push along type. Uh, now this thing is pretty slow. I can tell you tell you that. Um, yeah, it's yeah. I got both these at uh, the depot. This is actually a a Bachman uh, San Francisco cable car. Uh, I got the John Bull. I want the D. Whit Clinton. I also there's a another one I want. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, the top was cut off. Don't know why, but it was, so that's how I got it. It is what it is. Uh, here are my new safety glasses. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to have my eyes rechecked. I think they screwed up my prescription, but... It is what it is. And right here, got new parts for my car. Two O2 sensors, one, uh, one upstream, one downstream, then a knock sensor. Yeah, I'm sick and tired of my car being uh, basically a dog going up the hill. So, yeah, so that's why I bought those parts. Let's see how hard it is going to be to replace those 20 year old O2 sensors. Yeah, I had a health, a physical done. I'm perfectly health, healthy. Just need to walk a bit. And then I also had my glucose blood sugar, and blood sugar uh, checked. They're fine, so I'm not diabetic, which is nice. Um, yeah. I'm reading this book. It's Maximum Boost. Um, really great book to learn about turbochargers. Uh, yeah, that's. I've also been busy with work. Um, trying to catch up on YouTube notifications, which 
I am up there. 490. 493,000. No, 9,300 YouTube notifications. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, uh, a little bit update on the blower motor. Um, I'm not going to be going with uh, these uh, switches. Uh, these, like, ones with LED indicator. I'm actually going to just use, I got two more of these, like, 18 amp. Uh, switches I have one for the main power that I'm gonna have two for one for the motor and one for the heating element um, of course I don't think I really showed that much yeah I'm still still working on uh, saving up money I'm tired yeah, so I did laundry today. Picked those parts up. I bought them yesterday. Yeah, so. Yeah, Kelvin sure likes my desk. He's nice. He likes to sleep on my, uh. On my, uh, bed. Especially when I'm here on Fridays. Cars running still fine, but going up Thompson Hill and Masaba, it slows down. I got to drop it a gear. But when the issue when it picks up, I can make it up the hill no problem. It's just it seems like it it's at that low power mode mode more often now because used to I used to be able to fly up Masaba Hill in fourth gear. Now I have to drop it into third. And I'm above 3,000 RPMs, opposed to about 2,500. Bless you, Kelvin. He just sneezed. Um, yeah, that's pretty irritating. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just it's to a point where it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's just. Talked to Subaru, they said it was the O2 sensor. Talked to a friend that knows the Subaru, she says it's the O2 sensors. Also, there's a code for the NOx sensor. My guess, the NOx sensor code is due to the O2 sensors being bad. My dad says he re replaced the NOx sensor about three years ago, and that solved the issue, but now it's back. And last time I... Sorry for you, I... Sorry for yawning. I don't know what it's with me. Of course, my nose is plugged. I've been sick for the past week, two weeks. So, yeah. I'm just getting over the cold or the crud. So, doesn't help. Of course, I'm being th about 23 miles per gallon in that car, even with bad O2 sensors. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just, also, I was going to say this, um, basically, if I go below 2,000 RPMs, the engine starts to bog, like, first gear, second gear, third gear, it's not too bad, but once I get to fourth gear and fifth gear, it actually, I can feel it working pretty hard. And no matter amount of push and throttle down, it, it still slows down till I drop dra drop a gear. Oh man, tonight's a yawny night. Of course, it's almost midnight, so what do you expect? Yeah, it's just now once I get the O2 sensor placed and probably the NOx sensor. Hopefully the problem will go away. I'll get better gas mileage and I won't have to deal with the car basically struggling going up Masaba Hill. It's a pretty steep hill. Yeah, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's Mr. Calvin. He likes to sit on basically anything on my on my desk. He even likes sitting on this uh, this three ring binder. He even sits on iPads, mail. He sits on anything. Yeah, he's a kind of a goofy cat. Uh, but he, he's a... Yeah. Yeah. He's are also curious. I've been playing around with my HO scale the past, like yesterday. It's been like a month. Yeah, so. And also, I'm trying to organize my life as, as my New Year's goal. I gotta fix the switch in this. It basically is to a point where you kind of have to go in between to for it to light up fully. So I gotta take the back off, probably take the switch off. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's. Also, I think the first thing I did. was organized this. This is my engine rebu rebuilding supplies. And engine testing supplies. Got compression tester, chromatic balancer puller, digital voltmeter, uh, spark plug gap tools, valve lash tools, feeler gauges technically, uh, sand sandpaper, Got the parts for my Wisconsin in there, gasket set, and all the ignition components that are still good. The pat, the condenser I'm hanging on to because I don't know if that, that failed or not. Uh, yeah, so. Also, uh, sorry for just grab, grabbing random stuff. I have, I don't know, roughly 80 feet of this fuel, of this line. It's Curie Tech Clear On K010 by Curie Emma, one quarter inch ID, 3 8 OD, 70 degree non toxic PVC NSF 51 USA, KTM 11 -0 Eleven zero four zero seven twenty two twenty three. I wonder if this would be able to use on as fuel line. Uh, I scored it from I think Super One, and I've just been hanging on to it, and uh, I, would I would love to put it into use because this is actually a lot of. If this can be used for fuel line, this is a lot of fuel line. Uh, so. Yeah, I have it string wrapped in five, in five places to keep it together. <sighs> oh, by the way, at on the Lakehead Harvest Union Showgrounds, we here in the blacksmith shop. There's a very very old old uh, air compressor. Yeah, let's see. I actually uh, here we go antique vintage Curtis wall two stage compressor that's what it looks like and I was actually surprised that I found this on eBay uh, that thing went for 3400 bucks yeah, there was more pictures, but uh, the listing ended, so yeah, that's why. Holy crow, I've been talking for 15 minutes. Uh, what do you expect? This is just a ramble.
Uh, yeah, not much with my DC power supply. Or my robotic arm. Yeah, so... I still gotta take care of my model steam engine. Uh, I gotta order some new parts because, of course, I stripped uh, like three bolts. Not too bad. Trying to figure out an adapter for for the butane. Yeah, so talk to you later. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.